Are you searching for a Sudoku strategy that will solve more hard puzzles for you? Do you wish you could also solve them quicker? I will show you how to solve this hard Sudoku using a proven strategy that will not only solve the green cell, but it will take the place of not one, not two, but three other advanced strategies. Click below if you want to give this puzzle a go. And with that, it's solving time. We're going to one go up here in block three. You have these two ones in column seven and eight. And this one right here, the only place for a one is right there. Now, if you look for the twos, you have a two in column seven. And you have a two here in row two. You can solve for a two right there in block three. And then if you look over here at the threes, you see with the threes in columns two and three, there's only one place for three in block seven. Greetings, friend. This puzzle is from Akash Dulani. He's one of the best setters in the world, and the puzzle's rated 1616, hard. Most people would need three advanced strategies to solve this, but I will show you a solve path that only requires one in order to get the green cell and the rest of this puzzle. To find our feature strategy, you first need to find as much restriction as possible to set up that main strategy. Look up here in block one, where can the ones go? You have a one here and a one here. There's only two possibilities for a one. So I'm gonna do what's called Snyder notation. Anytime in a three by three block, you have two possibilities for a can. You mark it, basically solve one cell, we can solve the other right away. It helps you find the restrictions you need to solve this puzzle. Then if you have a one right here in row eight, and this one, there's only two places for a one in block eight. And this is not only a Snyder ones, but it's also a pointing pair. And what that means is, since the ones are restricted in block eight, the column five, a one can't be anywhere else in the column outside the block. If you try to put a one right here, you have no place to put a one in block eight. And so what this helps us do is with this one and these pointing pair ones, we can put Snyder ones in block five. And the threes, look in block three, because this three cuts across, you create a pointing pair of threes in block five three and then with the fours notice how this four comes down you create a pointing pair of fours in block seven and i'm going to give you a bonus tip here we're going to find out where the fives can be here in block eight because you have this five coming down here and this five cutting across the fives are limited to the same two spots as the ones and whenever you see this situation i call it snyder on top of each other you have found a hidden pair because the one and the five both have to be in block eight and they're restricted to the same two cells. What this means to you is you can remove every other candidate from those two cells. And then these fives as a hidden pair also act as a pointing pair. So you know a five is gonna be in one of these three spots here in block five. I won't mark it here because I don't, Snyder marking, you only wanna mark two possibilities. Now with the sixes, look up in block two with this six and this six. Snyder six is right here. And then in block four with these two sixes, more Snyder sixes, go to the seven. You can actually solve for a seven. If you see these two sevens in columns eight, and nine, and this seven in row nine, only place left for seven, block nine is right there, which gives us Snyder sevens in block eight. And then also in block one with this seven and this seven, Snyder sevens in block one. And then with this seven and this seven, that's Snyder sevens in block four. How about the eights? We can solve for an eight here in block nine. Do you see it? You see how this eight cuts across? Row nine, this comes down column nine, only place left for an eight is right there. And then with these two eights, we can do Snyder eights in block seven. You can look in block six with these two eights. And then in block two, with this eight and this eight, we have a pointing pair of eights. I'm not going to mark the eights here because there's three possibilities. All right, how about the nines? Can we solve for a nine in block six? We sure can. So, whoops, you see the nine right there in column eight. In column nine, and this nine is the only place left for a nine is right here. And since we just marked over a Snyder mark, we displace the Snyder. We can solve that cell immediately for an eight. And now, with these two eights, and this eight, and this eight, can actually put Snyder 8s here in block 5. 
And I'm going to give you another bonus tip. I call this threes company. Let's look for where the ones, the nines can be up here in block one. You have a nine right here, and you have a nine cutting across row one. So the nines are limited to the same two spots as the sevens. But you notice you have a seven nine here, seven nine there. I told you Snyder on top of each other is a hidden pair. But you have this additional one. That's the threes company. The one can't be there because these two cells are restricted to only a seven nine. Whenever you see this situation, you know you can displace that Snyder one and solve the other cell for a one. And now we can do a little bit more solving here with the nines. You have a nine here and a here. With this nine, we can actually put some Snyder nines in block five. And then in block seven, with these two nines, we can put Snyder nines right here. And this is a very interesting situation right here. You might notice too, see how this one cuts across row eight? So the ones are going to be limited to these four cells in block seven. But you also notice the four is limited to those purple cells, the eight's limited to the purple cells, and the nines are limited to purple cells. So you have four different digits, one, four, eight, nine, limits these four cells. So you know these four cells are actually a hidden quad. But you flip it around, you go, well, I also have a three, five, six, seven in here. This cell actually has to be a naked single. The only thing it can be is going to be a two. And I noticed this by using the Snyder marking here. But yeah, you can see how a one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine cannot go there. This has to be a two. Kind of an interesting way to use Snyder marking to find a naked single, but we were able to do it. We went through all the Snyder marks. Now you want to go back and see if there's any other restrictions that we've created. With this two, now you have a pointing pair of twos in block eight. With this two and this two, we have twos in block five. And then in block nine, with this two and these twos, we have Snyder twos right here. And then in block four, this two and this two, Snyder twos right there. So there's still plenty of restrictions. You don't want to miss any of this if you want to reduce your advanced strategies down to one. Where can the fours be in block one? Well, this four right here in this pointing pair of fours means the fours are actually limited to these two spots in block one. And then the fives in block one with this five and this five only two places for a five and they're going to be a pointing pair so you can't have a five here anymore and because of this five you can have the fives restricted to these two spots in block three and now this is really tricky spot but if you find this you're going to reduce a need for an advanced strategy look across row four you'll notice that a one two are right here so they cannot be in those two cells you also have this one pointing pair in this two looking at this cell you have a one here and these pointing pairs of twos looking at this cell. And so where can the one and two be in row four? Well, they can be here and they can only be here because they can't be in these three, these four cells right there. So what you have here is a hidden pair, hidden pair one and two. This is pretty amazing stuff Acash put in here. You know hidden pairs are part of the seven main strategies. You can reduce your advanced strategy needed because what this does is this hidden pair now knocks out that seven allows you to solve for a seven right here displacing that Snyder six and then with these two sevens you can put Snyder sevens right there in block five really cool but what also this does is this seven allows you to disambiguate the nine and seven up there in block one and then with these two nines you can displace that Snyder one, nine, solving the nine right here, displacing the Snyder four, displacing the Snyder eight. The only cell remaining is going to be a one here in block seven. And it allows us to disambiguate the five and the one right here. We get a lot of solving, but realize we still haven't gotten to that main advanced strategy. This just opens the puzzle up a little bit. And now what we can do with all these solves is you notice you have a full house. There's only one cell remaining. And block or column three that's going to be a five so we're going to move that snyder mark for the five and then we can see with these two fives you can solve for a five here displacing that snyder two 
place in this sign or two and solve this cell for a two. And then we can look up here in block six. You may notice is that you have a five here. So it looks like the five could be in these two spots as a pointing pair. So you can remove that five and solve this for five. But actually we can do a little bit better because of this five and this five, fives can't be here because of the one, two hidden pair, they can't be there. They can't be here because of this five. So we can only have a hidden single five right there in block six. We can solve that too. And now look across block five. This is another really hard strategy to find, but it's not an advanced strategy. If you find this, you're gonna reduce your need for another advanced strategy. Look here in block five. What you may notice is in column four, you have a one, two, and five right there. Column five, you have a one, two, and five right there. So where can the one, two, and five go in block five? They have to be in these three cells. This is a one, two, five hidden triple. Awesome. Did you see this hidden triple when you're solving the puzzle? If you did, please, 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 let me know in the comments. I am trying to grow the best classic Sudoku community on YouTube. It starts with comments from viewers like you. And I appreciate your comments so much. I answer each and every one. So what this does is you can put a 2-5 right there. You can put a 1-5 right there. You'll notice we have a Snyder 9 right there. We can bump that Snyder 9 and solve this cell now for a 9, displacing that Snyder 8. And then we have two possibilities for an eight right there. And so now with this nine and this nine and these two nines, we can actually solve for a nine up here in block two. All this because of this hidden ripple. This is awesome stuff. I love that Acash put that in the puzzle as well. And now let's look across row five. You put a two five right there. We have a one, three, seven, eight, nine. We have two, four, five, and six. We have a four and a six here. So this is only gonna be a two, five. So what we end up with is a two, five naked pair. And this is, we're gonna start building the way to get to the advanced strategy now. Because with this two, five naked pair, that leads the four and a six to these two cells, okay? So now we have a two, five naked pair, four, six, naked pair in row five as well. And now let's look in row six. Okay, you have a two, six, seven, nine in row six. You need a one, three, four, five, and eight. Well, you might notice that the three and the four can't be in these two cells and it can't be in this cell. So the only two cells the three, four can go are right there. And so that's gonna be another hidden pair. And so we can mark that right away and we can put your 5, 8 right here, because we already have a 1 in column 1, and we can put a 1, 8 right there. We're building some BBCs, buy value cells. When you see this, you know you're getting close to doing an advanced strategy. And now, what we can look at is, since this 4 cuts across, you actually have a pointing pair of 4s right there, so we know the 4s can't be in any of these spots. We still have three places for a 4 in block 2. And it's time to fill out and solve our green cell. What could this be? Looking in the column, you got a one, two, five, seven, eight, nine. Could be a three, four, or a six. So we can put a three, four, six right there. And we know that you got a three right here. This could be a four, six. And this could also be a four, six. Okay, BVCs. And the other thing, a naked pair, they act as a conjugate pair, you know? So if this is a four, then this cell can't be a four. If this is not a four, this cell has to be a four. So that's a conjugate pair of fours. We also have a conjugate pair of sixes. Either this is a six, if it's not, this cell has to be a six. So there's a relationship here between these two cells. Now, other thing I want you to notice is what can be down here in row nine. Three, we got a one, two, five, seven, eight, nine, we need a three, four, or a six. I got a six right there. So here's a three, four. And then you have this pointing pair of threes right here. So that can only be a four or a six. Okay. 
Wow. So we have this conjugate pair of 4, 6 here in row 2. You notice we have identical five-value cells right here with these three fours. It's time to reveal our advanced strategy, the proven strategy that will help you solve this green cell. Whenever you have a conjugate pair, one candidate, and it connects a bi-value cell, two bi-value cells that candidate, you have found a Sudoku W wing. So what that means is, you know, either this cell is a three. If it's not a three, it'd be a four. This cell could not be a four. This cell would have to be a four and it'd make a three go right here. So either this cell's a three, if it's not a three, you see that this cell has to be a three. No matter what we do, one of those blue cells has to contain a three. And so we can eliminate a three from any cell that sees both the blue cells. Well, which cell sees both these blue cells? This one that's filled out and this cell right here. We can eliminate a three from right there. And that's going to help us solve this puzzle. W wings are amazing proven strategies. They're kind of hard to find. That's why I wanted to show this to you. If you want to learn more about them, check out this tutorial. What this does is now we see you have a four, six naked pair right here. So the only place left for a three in row nine is right there. So that's got to be your three. So let's clean up some of these colors now and see what that can do for us. I think it's going to allow us to solve quite a bit of threes. So what we're going to do is call it following the Snyder. You got a three right here. That's a four, six naked pair. So this has to be your three right here. Neither one of these cells can be a three. So this is the only place for a three in block six. That's going to allow that cell to be a four. And then you got the only place for a three is right there in block five. And we got two places for a three there in block two. Okay, after the threes, let's finish the rest of block six here. Because you have a four right there. The only place to put a four in block six is right there. So that's a four, that's a six. We know this is going to be a six. And let's just follow the sixes now. We got these two sixes. Okay. And then with these two sixes, we got a six right here. We displace that Snyder six. Allows this to be a four. And now with these two sixes, this has got to be a six, displacing that Snyder three, solving this cell for a three. And did we take care of all the sixes? We sure did. Now let's look at the fours. All right. Well, six right here. Actually, we got to get our green cell. That is a six. That's my last six. That's going to be a four. Okay, what can we do with our fours now? With this four, the only place for a four in block two is right there. This place in that Snyder four allows us to solve this cell for a four. And then with these two fours, we can solve for a four here. This place in that Snyder seven. Okay, allowing us to solve this cell now for a seven. What else can we do with the sevens? With these two sevens, this cell has to be a seven. This place in that Snyder eight. Now with these two eights, I can solve for an eight right there. Only one digit left. I'll just put that two in right now. This ambiguate in the one and the two right there allows us to solve this whole nice naked hidden triple. That's going to be your one. With this eight, we can displace this nine or eight, solve that for a five. That's got to be your eight. And our last digit is a two. See if you can spot the W wing in this next video. Thank you so much for watching.